Well, after more than 45 years in pro wrestling, I've become accustomed to being around big people, whether I've been wrestling them or talking to them. But no one ever, not ever, becomes accustomed to standing alongside of Andre the Giant and speaking to him. Not only does it give you a crick in the neck, but it gives you a profound respect for how big a man can be. And Andre, fortunately, is big inside as well as outside. Andre, we're glad to have you back again. Thank you. And just like I said many times before, I'm very happy to come back in this area because I love to wrestling here and I like the people here too. Well, you know, looking at you, uh, I think you've gotten about uh, three inches taller since I last <laughs> stood alongside of you. No, I still the same size, 7 feet 4, and I weigh 482 pounds now. Now you're 482. Yeah, I gained away a little bit. Um, purpose on purpose, or um, just because you are Andre? <laughs> no, to say that, because I think I eat too much sometimes. <laughs> yeah, just like all of us. So yeah. you have the same problem that all, all other people have. Andre, you know, there are many people listening who may not know your background. Now, you were born in France, right? Yeah, I was born in France, in Grenoble, in the French Alps. Mm -hmm. But my father is from Bulgaria, and my mother is from Poland. So you are part Polak, part Bulgarian, you are all French. You, uh, yeah, I live in North America. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, which part of your life do you like the best? Oh, I like all my life. Yeah. I have a good time all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you have, a, you have a good time because tonight you are in uh, Texas, and tomorrow you may be in Japan. Probably, uh, maybe next day after that in Australia, because yeah. I'm traveling, I don't go all over the world, all the yeah. promoter wants me, just like you want me all the time, and yeah. I'm happy to go in all those places. Now, before you got into wrestling, you were in other athletics, like uh, football, European football? Uh, yeah, we call that in France, the football, eh? you, mm. you call it the soccer, right? Yes. I started to play in soccer, I was 11 years old, I started mm. playing in school, and I played that for four years. Then I, I played in two seasons for the rugby. Uh -huh. And I was a little bit in boxing, not too much. I was just for eight months in the boxing, mm -hmm. and then I come in wrestling. Now, did you ever play basketball? No, because in France, that time, the basketball was not so popular. Yeah. But wrestling was just a natural for you. I come, the way I come in wrestling it was funny because when I go to the gym, when I was playing in rugby, all the wrestlers was in the gym too, and we training together. And they, they showed me the way to wrestling. But I was not interested in wrestling. And one day when wrestler was hurt, then they don't know who to take you, who go to take his place. Then they call me. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't do that. I've never been in the ring in my life. They said, oh, we know, we know you in the gym. You're so good and can't try. <laughs> then I tried and I was 30, almost 13 years ago and I still in wrestling. And you haven't stopped. Have you played rugby since then? No, but I still go back to see those guys all the time I'm in France. The first people I go to see is those people. You know, I don't think anybody has the dimensions that you have. Would you be kind enough to show these people what happens when you put your hand up there? Now, if I match my wrist with yours, just, just look at that. And your, your feet, I know that you recently had some boots made. Uh, how, uh, how big? 22. Uh, only, only 22. Tony Lama make that for me in El Paso. Mm -hmm. You mean he killed two cows to, to make them, huh? <laughs> uh, Andre, I, I, th I think that uh, there is one thing that people escape. You are not just a big man. You have great coordination. You move like a 200-pounder. You don't move like a 482-pounder. You move with speed and with skill. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate that because I know you are a great wrestler before, too. Thank well, you very much. Well, I, I have great admiration for you in the ring and out of the ring. Your um, father was a big man? No, my father is maybe 6'1". My mother, she's small, she's 5'1". But my grandfather was big. He was 7 feet 8 and he weighed 520 pounds. Uh, if he was here now, uh, could I sign him to a contract? <laughs> <laughs> no, he passed away. Okay. Andre, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank we wish you, you good luck. Thank you. And anytime you want me, just call me. You know the phone number. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. And don't be calling me for Andre the Giant's phone number because he probably won't be home, as he said, maybe tomorrow night in Japan or maybe the next night in, in Australia. He is that kind of an individual. 
but you have just seen one of the world's most amazing athletes, Andre Rusmanov, Andre the Giant.